Hi, everybody. We are launching into worship and intercession, our whole Circuit Riders community. We are starting up 16 hours of a burn of lifting up the name of Jesus, of praying in the place of intercession and breakthrough. So we want to invite everyone in right now to join us. Even right now, let's pray out. Let's sing out. In this moment, lift up your voice to Jesus. Lift up your voice. We, we welcome in your presence today, Jesus. We, we center on you, Jesus. We love you, God. We're going to get started right now. And if you're, if you're watching, what we're going to do, we're going to launch right now into worship. We're going to launch into praise in just a minute. But then we're going to transition from that place, and we're going to go into intercession. And we're going to pray even for physical healing. God is moving in our midst. He's healing bodies. He's healing minds. His power is being unleashed. We know what's happening. We're seeing testimony after testimony break forth. So we're going to launch into worship in just a minute. So what I want you to do is that if you're watching, I want you in the comments to put any healing requests. And even what I want you to do is if you know anyone, if you have family or friends that need healing, to text them right now. Tell them to watch. Tell them to put in their prayer request. Go ahead right now. Take a moment. Text family. Text friends. Anyone that you know needs a breakthrough, needs physical healing. We're going to intercede as a company and as a family. We're about to go in. And I want to read us this psalm real quick as we launch in. Because, man, we just want to go high praise right now. We just want to fix our gaze right on Jesus and lift up his name. So I'm going to read this Psalm in 89. Man, we just want to remind ourselves of the goodness of the Lord. Wherever you're at, whatever has been going on, we know that he's good. We know that he's faithful. We know that he's so mighty. So I'm going to read this out. You can go to Psalm 89 if you've got your Bible. You can read it with me. Pull up your phone. Let's look at the word together. and We're going to launch into worship. Psalm 89. I will sing of the Lord's great love forever. With my mouth, I will make your faithfulness known through all generations. Come on, somebody. I will declare that your love stands firm forever, that you have established your faithfulness in heaven itself. And in verse 5, it says, The heavens praise your wonders, Lord. Your faithfulness too in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies above can compare with the Lord? Who is like the Lord among the heavenly beings? Come on, guys. In the council of the holy ones, God is greatly feared. He is more awesome than all who surround him. Who is like you, Lord, God Almighty? You, Lord, are mighty and your faithfulness surrounds you. Okay, last three verses. You rule over the surging sea. When its waves mount up, you still them. You crushed Rahab like one of the slain. With your strong arm, you scattered your enemies. The heavens are yours, and yours also the earth. You founded the world and all that is in it. Can we give Jesus praise right now? Can we lift up God for his faithfulness, for his mercy, for his goodness? Jesus, we declare you are mighty and strong. You are faithful to the end. Your love endures through every generation. And Jesus, we kick off even this prayer burn with a sacrifice of worship, a sacrifice of praise. Come on, lift up your voice. Everyone who's listening, engage in prayer. Engage in worship to the King of Kings. Lord, we declare your good. Come on, we're going to keep launching. Invite your friends. Put in the comments prayer request. We're going to launch. Let's go. Let's worship him.
this again of what sickness can resist the great physician. Just wherever you're at in your homes, you just believe this is the hour, Jesus the healer, healing rain of heaven flooding the earth in Jesus' name. So as we declare this out, Jesus, we just receive the gift of faith tonight. We receive a fresh gift of faith tonight. I feel like God is shaking what can be shaken. You're breaking our boxes. And we just say it's your mercy and your love that draws us closer to you, Jesus. So, Father, we just say we're hungry. We're hungry. We're hungry to know you as you really are. As you really are, Jesus. Oh, tonight you're crushing unbelief.
stay in this place and I want to read this out. In Acts 3. You can turn there with me, Acts 3. I'm going to read this out real quick. And I love it. We can sing that out one more time. What sickness can resist the great physician? Because he is so great. His power is unending. We're going to sing this out. And we're going to keep launching into prayer and intercession. But you can even see there are comments coming in. There's one man who said that he said there are back injuries. We're going to pray for healing. There are back injuries, neck injuries. Uh, Danny Bryan is me. There's so many requests right now. We're going to go into a place of intercession. But I want to I want to share this this scripture, Acts 3, verse 11. And this is right after the lame. And it says in verse 11, while the man held on to Peter and John, all the people were astonished and came running to them. All the people were astonished and came running to them in the place called Solomon's Colonnade. When Peter saw this, he said to them, fellow Israelites, stare at us as if by our own power or godliness we had made this man walk. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus. Glorified his servant Jesus. You handed him over to be killed, and you disowned him before Pilate, though he had decided to let him go and ask that a murderer be released to you. Man, haven't we all betrayed Jesus? Haven't we all turned our backs? We all betrayed Jesus. We're undeserving. Haven't we all turned our backs? We're undeserving. And yet it says this. It says, you killed the author of life, but God raised him from the dead. We are witnesses of this name of Jesus. By faith in the name of Jesus. This man whom you see and know has been made strong. I believe as we keep on going that God's love and power is falling on people even as they listen. That the power of God is sovereignly coming and healing from affliction over people and bringing healing. And it says here in verse 16, it is Jesus' name. Come on. Come on. It is Jesus' name and the faith that comes through him that has completely healed him, as you can all see. Come on, it is Jesus' name. It's no man, it's no special prayer, it's no good theology, it's the man Jesus. It's the presence of God, it's the power of God, it's his burning heart of love. So let's enter into a place of intercession right now because his heart is breaking, but in that, his power is ushering forward. So can we sing that out one more time? Because it's the name of Jesus that heals. Let's sing it out one more time. Come on. What sickness can resist the great physician? What darkness can resist the light of light? What power can resist the name of Jesus? So matchless it won't even be a fight. Darkness can 
on. Jesus is moving. And in a minute, we're going to go through and we're going to intercede for these prayer requests. We're going to pray for it. But we felt something even so much on tonight as well because, man, God is breaking something out. He's breaking something loose. I believe you're feeling it. I know we're feeling it. God is doing something significant. And like we mentioned, our whole community is even going into 16 hours of a prayer burn out of this session. So we want to keep praying. But we felt something just so, uh, so raw in the heart of God. And it was, you know, our whole Circuit Riders community has been talking about mantles falling. We've been talking about the power of God and the assignments of God over our lives. And we felt so much over this time that so many, that God is even having many of us step into that in this season. Step into new assignments. Step into even fresh anointing. Just a fresh grace of the Lord over our lives. That he's doing it. And even in this time of, of wildness and uncertainty, we might not know what's happening next. But yet God is leading us in power. And in that place, while we're picking up the call of God over this season for each one of us individually, we felt God so much speak to the fact that new wine requires new wine skins. That a fresh outpouring, even of what he wants to do in our individual lives, what it's going to require is letting go of old structures, letting go of old mentalities, letting go of old stuff. And letting the Lord fill us afresh and even give us new wineskins. So I want to read out this scripture. And we're going to keep praying out, but it's in Matthew 9. And it's when Jesus is asked about fasting and he says, in Matthew 9, verse 15, he says, How can the guests of the bridegroom mourn while he is with them? The time will come when the bridegroom will be taken from them. Then they will fast. And then in verse 16, it says, No one sews a patch of unshrunk cloth on an old garment. For the patch will pull and tear away from the garment, making the tear worse. We all know we don't want that. But in verse 17, it says, Neither do people pour new wine into old wineskins. If they do, the skins will burst, the wine will run out, and the wineskins will be ruined. And then it says, No, they pour new wine into new wineskins. And both are preserved. And I feel like we're in this place almost of transition where God is pouring out, but he's also asking us to let go. He's pouring out, but he wants us to be willing to even change and transform and embrace new things that he's calling us to. And I felt so much in this place of prayer, just the, that God was saying, you've got to focus completely on me. Man, it's in full surrender. It's in full reliance on Jesus, not relying on the old ways, not relying on the old structures and wineskins, but saying, God, I'm fully surrendered to you. I'm fully devoted. I can only rely on you. I can't rely on old wineskins. I can't rely on the old ways. Jesus, let me step out with you. And I know that's the prayer in the heart of many of us. We have right now, even with us, we've asked some others to join. Graham Marshall's with us, and he's going to say a piece on this. And we're going to launch in worship because we know that God is shifting something in our hearts and bringing new wine into new wineskins. Come on. Yeah. I think what's so amazing about that truth is you can put old wine in a new wineskin and it will burst. But we need new wine for the new wine skin. So right now, where you're at, just begin to cry out for that new wine. And a part of the process of the new wine is the crushing. In the past three or four months, there's been a crushing in so many of us as we've gone through uncertain times. But allow that to produce the new wine that the Holy Spirit is pouring out in this hour for new seasons and new places and new things and clarity. So, Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you release the new thing tonight. Release the new wine. We ask for fresh encounter. We ask for fresh understanding. We ask for fresh clarity as we move into the new thing. In Jesus' name.
God is doing it. We have Casey right supernaturally. In a moment, the power of God landed on her. In a moment, the power of God landed on her. Jesus is bringing healing. He's doing it. So let's all enter together right now in such faith, in such expectation, and say, Jesus, would you loose a mighty wave of healing? So we're headed. If you want to do some request, whatever you need to do to engage, let's all engage in this together. The first one is we're going to pray for Zonda in Charleston, South Carolina. We're going to pray for Zonda in Charleston, South Carolina. I want us to all rumble on this. She's in, she has a terminal condition where her lungs are hardening. Her bronchial tubes have hardened, and she's getting less and less oxygen. She's homebound right now, and she needs a miracle. Can we all just launch into prayer and intercession right now for Zonda and ask for the power of God to open up her lungs, to lose her lungs right now? Jesus, we pray for Zonda. God, we ask for the power of God to heal her right now. Jesus, we ask that her lungs would open. We ask that her oxygen levels would open in Jesus' name. Jesus, that you would walk into the room even right now where she is. We ask that the power of God would be loosed on her body. Jesus, that all affliction would be broken off. God, I ask that her situation would turn around right now. Jesus, we just say let your miracle power be Jesus, we just say let your miracle power be loosed over Zonda right now, over her lungs. Come on. We also want to pray right now for Brian Brent. He also has an autoimmune disorder that gets out in his lungs and has reduced her flow and ability to breathe. So let's pray right now for Brian Brent. Jesus, we ask right now, we thank you even for Casey's word for radical healing in this season over Brian. We claim it right now in the name of Jesus. God, together we agree and we lose healing over Brian Brent. God, we ask for a loosening over his lungs that scar tissue right now would dissolve. God, we ask even any pain that he's in this weekend would fall away in Jesus' name. Come on, let's rumble on this. God, we ask that pain would fall away, that scar tissue would just be burnt up and gone in Jesus' name. God, we ask for healing restoration to his lungs right now in Jesus' name. Healing restoration to his lungs that they would be made like new. Come on, let's pray that out. Brian Brent's lungs made like new in Jesus' name. God, we ask, would you fall in power over Brian's lungs right now? Thank you, Jesus. Come on, we're going to keep rumbling. In a minute as well, Graham's going to join us, going to rumble on a few others. We want to pray right now for Holly Nemec. This is Bree and Nemec's mom. We're going to pray. She had a tumor removed from her brain, and surgery went well. But we're praying for her and just an encounter with Jesus and for accelerated healing after the surgery. So we pray right now for healing after the surgery. Jesus, we ask that you would meet her where she is. Jesus, that your power would fall over her in radical healing. Okay, we're going to keep rumbling. I'll give this um, in just a minute to Graham. We're going to pray for some others. We're going to pray right now for Madison Jones. She said she's having uh, knee problems. We had many others ca calling in with knee issues. Also others with lower back stress fractures. So let's pray for anyone with knee issues, any issues in the back, any issues um, just with fractures and so forth. We want to pray for that. So Jesus, we pray for Madison and her knees. We pray also for Danny's knees. God, we ask that you would just touch them right now. God, that your power would fall. Anywhere where anything's been thrown off, God, we ask that you shift it into alignment right now in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit. God, we ask for backs that are out of alignment, for necks and shoulders out of alignment, to even create, and I feel like just migraines and these headaches coming on out of being off of alignment. God, we ask that you come and bring all things into alignment. Power of God. We ask for the power of God right now to restore backs, injuries even. I just see, um, I see a bicycling injury. So God, we pray for anyone who's just been, uh, their body's been thrown off from a bicycling injury. God, we ask for wholeness and healing. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Yeah, we're going to pray right now for MS. We have a word as circuit riders that MS would be healed. And we have two people in particular that we want to pray by name, but we want to pray as well for anyone else with MS. There's one name that I'll share, and then we're also, Graham's going to pray with me as well. So one of them is Christy Walsh needs healing from MS. So we're going to pray for Christy. And we're also going to pray for Janelle Barkman's mom. And right now, Graham just has a story, I think, that will just inspire us all as we pray for Janelle's mom. This night, one of her mom's just greatest desires in being healed is that she could run again. 
Just let that hit you right there. And we just believe over you, Marie, that you will run again. And we believe that MS is not bigger than God, but we believe that God is bigger than MS. A few years ago, I saw this 12-year-old boy who had chronic arthritis, who could not run and who could not play with his brother. He had radically healed. So as we pray right now, we believe that that same testimony is for you today, that you will run in Jesus' name. We thank you for those running shoes right now. We thank you for the ones right now that have MS. And we say right now, in the name of Jesus, MS, be gone in Jesus' name. MS, be healed right now in Jesus' name. If you're watching this, I just want you just to keep your attention, to keep your focus on Jesus because Jesus is the healer. Jesus has come to seek and to save that which was lost. And he's come to reconcile all things into himself. So we believe that sickness is not a part of God's design for your life. So right now, let's agree some more. For every incurable disease that the doctor said, we don't have a solution. Jesus, you're the solution. So Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, if you're near someone right now, or maybe you want to put your hand on yourself, the living God is going to touch you right where you're at. So right now, we thank you for the fire of God to consume every bit of illness, every bit of affliction in that body right now, in Jesus' name. Every bit of blood. 
affliction. We're praying also for that MS, anything over Christy Walsh's body, over Mari's body. Right now, let's declare it out. We're declaring every disease is illegal. Jesus, we declare the blood of Jesus, that you have broken the power of death. You have broken the power of disease. God, we condemn right now every disease that is standing against our loved ones, that's standing against our family and friends. We, we render it utterly illegal in Jesus' name. We cast it out. We rebuke every assignment of disease, of illness, of infirmity. I just see even people with symptoms of nausea. We just call that out. We break every symptom of nausea. I just see like this vertigo and imbalance. Right now, God, we condemn every assignment of vertigo, imbalance, and nausea. We break it in Jesus' name. We say it's done. It is illegal in the kingdom of Jesus. God, we declare your kingdom over everyone right now battling with disease. We declare your kingdom's power. We say that that disease is illegal and must be cast out. God, we just say let be broken. I just declare right now, symptoms lifted off. Ailments lifted off. Signs of that disease broken off in Jesus' name. We declare right now healing to bodies in Jesus' name. Yes, God. Come on, we're going to keep praying out. I've got a few more here. We're going to keep praying right now for a few others. We want to pray for Katie Stubblefield. She recently, she's going to a neurologist later this week because she's been having tremors on her body. Let's just declare right now peace and the kingdom and healing of God to Katie Stubblefield's body. Jesus, we pray for healing. We pray that the tremors would be done. God, that anything in her mind, anything, any connective issues going on right now, we declare the kingdom, the peace of God. God, we ask that peace be and brain function. Can we rumble right now? Come on, guys. I know you're not tired. I know you're so stirred in faith. Let's rumble right now for Grace's mom who needs full speech and brain function, whole body restoration. Let's declare it over Grace's mom. God, we ask for Grace Vaughn's mom for full function, for full brain connectivity. We ask that speech would be restored. We declare a restoring right now of speech full body function. Jesus, we ask that you would enter into her room where she is right now. God, that you would touch her body in power. Jesus, bring full healing. Jesus, we say let her be raised up in Jesus' name. Raised up to full functioning power in Jesus' name. Come on, just a last two or three right now. We want to pray right now for Laura Nelson, who has been dealing with Lyme's for years. We condemn right now that disease of Lyme's. We declare over Laura Nelson that Lyme's is not too hard for God. God, we condemn it. We declare it's illegal. We speak to her body and we say, let Laura Nelson be healed. God, I ask that every symptom of Lyme's would be broken off of her full restoration, full healing. We declare in unity and agreement, healing. Come on, declare it out. Healing over Laura Nelson. Healing. We declare it right now. We declare energy to her body, clarity to her mind. Holy Spirit, would you breathe a fresh healing over Laura Nelson? Yes, Jesus. We want to pray right now for everyone who's dealing right now. Even in our community, there's so many with autoimmune diseases, even with gut issues and just undiagnosed things, just just questions of what's going on. Gut issues that are creating allergic responses. I know Steph Mensa, Chloe Mack, others, Anastasia Riley. We want to pray right now that God would lift off all of these mystery issues, any gut issues, any allergies. Let's rumble right now. 
casting off every allergy. Jesus, we rebuke every allergy in Jesus' name. God, we declare the healing power of God. God, thank you. You are the great physician. Jesus, even things that are undiagnosed, God, you know how to go straight to the problem and bring the full healing of your kingdom. God, we speak to every undiagnosed issue, every allergy. God, we, we just say reorder. Reorder what's going on and bring full healing. We ask for the power of God to fall over each person that's dealing with this right now. I just see people even in their cars and the power of God hitting you right now who have been dealing with allergies and you've just, you just figured, I'm just gonna get used to this and this is just how it is. I just see the love of God coming, the power of God coming. We declare healing in Jesus' name. Come on, so good. So good, okay, I know there's so many more, I'm sure, but let's just continue in this place, praying out healing. Jesus, we lift up, we ask for healing for everyone in need. We declare, God, that you are the great healer. You are the one who brings breakthrough. I saw earlier just this picture of God just busting through walls. He is the great breaker. So we even declare over issues of health, God, your breakthrough is here, God. Your breakthrough is here, King Jesus. Your healing is here. We just declare it over every issue, every, every infirmity in Jesus' name. Come on. Come on. Let's lift him up. Jesus, we worship you. We worship you. God of the break, healing is in you. God of the break.
so true. Jesus loves to heal. Where you're at, can you, we celebrate that reality that he loves to heal? In the middle of a global pandemic, he loves to heal. And so right now, we're going to need everyone's faith in your houses right now, wherever you're at. We're going to contend to see dramatic breakthrough with COVID-19 tonight. We believe where two or three agree, and it's according to the will of God, it will be done. And we know that it is God's will to eradicate COVID-19 from the earth. We know it's not heaven's design to see that pandemic rage more. We know it's the design of the enemy. And Jesus says this in his word in John 10, 10, though the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy, I have come to bring life and life to the fullest. Jesus came and he destroyed the works of the enemy on the cross. What he paid for, the price that he paid with his body, it is big enough, it is good enough, it is better than COVID-19. So right now, just begin to cry out right now. God, we ask for healing breakthrough in COVID-19 in Jesus' name. Begin asking for expedited vaccines. Begin to ask for expedited treatments right now that God would land in wisdom on doctors, that God would land on wisdom and revelation and bring cure breakthrough in Jesus' name. And man, I just have faith right now. If you're watching this and you have someone that has COVID-19 or you have COVID-19, bring them into the room right now and replay this. And all of us are agreeing right now. In the name of Jesus, be healed. In the name of Jesus, be healed. COVID-19, leave. Fever, break. Body chills, cease. In Jesus' name, restoration and healing in your lungs right now. In Jesus' name. There's a story in Scripture found in Acts 15. And it's the sons of Sceva. And they recognized that there was power in the name of Jesus. And it says in the opening of Acts 15, it was a time for extraordinary miracles. And I just have something to say to you tonight. Do you believe that we're in a, in a similar time in this very day, that we're in a time of extraordinary miracles? And I believe that there's power in the name of Jesus. And just then, in the Acts 15 chapter, it talks about how literally people had such faith of what they saw Paul operating in, that they would get garments or things that he would touch and they would be healed. I'm telling you what, I just got faith that God can heal over live stream. I got faith that right now God is taking care of your disease. So Father, right now in the name of Jesus, we call these diseases forth and we say be done in Jesus' name. Full restoration right now in everybody. Thank you, Jesus.
Yes, yeah, as we stay in this place, man, Catherine Coleman, she would see masses of people healed. But so many times in her services, she would never do a call for healing. It was just the glory of God, the presence of God. I believe God has an encounter for each one of us tonight, right now, as we listen. I believe the Holy Spirit is so powerfully on each person listening. Man, who knows? We need the Holy Spirit in this hour. (laughs) We're not playing games. And we want to pray. We're believing for a healing movement, a global healing movement. Only the Holy Spirit. There's no church structure. There's no ministry. There's no good idea. Oh, but a move. Oh, God. Can we all cry out for a move of the Holy Spirit? And Catherine Coleman, she would say, don't grieve the Holy Spirit because he's all that I have. He's the only thing that I can rely on. He's the only one. The Spirit of God coming into auditoriums, coming into rooms, coming into homes that we're even listening on the radio and on TV. And she would say all the time, I can't heal, I can't help anyone. It's purely the power of the Holy Spirit, the power of God.
someone we can encounter. He's someone we can touch, we can feel, we can talk to. God, I love your presence. I love the presence of the living God. God, I receive. God, I 
obey, God, I say yes. Jesus, thank you, God, that you are birthing movements in this hour. Movements in this hour. Thank you, Jesus. This is so good. God's moving. Well, you guys, we're going to wrap this up right now. But like we said, we are doing a all weekend burn. Our whole Circuit Riders community houses praying at midnight, praying early in the morning, all through the day, all through the night. So we want to invite you. Man, we know we could keep going for another hour, two hours right now, but we want to encourage you, even with your community, with your house, or even if you're on your own, to continue pressing in in the presence of God. God is meeting us. He's encountering each one of us. So for all of our communities, let's keep rumbling in this place of prayer. Keep rumbling in the place of intercession and of praise, of lifting up his name. We love you guys. Let's keep praying all through this week, wherever you are. Join with us in this burn, this weekend burn. We're so excited for what Jesus is doing. Come on. So Jesus, we give you all the glory. We thank you. And we declare over this weekend a breakthrough in Jesus' name. We thank you that you have appointed this hour for breakthrough, for new wineskins, for mantles falling, and for healing in Jesus' name. Thank you, God. Come on. All right, we love you guys. We're going to wrap this up. We'll see you again. We've got Sunday morning, Monday night. We've got Greenhouse Thursday morning. And then we'll be back together Saturday night as well. Have a good night.